Perfect. How are you doing? <laughs> better. <laughs> better? I've been better. All right. So I received a report where they're requesting early termination for you, potentially, or either to extend your case. So you know what I always ask everybody, because you're here for a drug case. If you give a UA today, what are the results going to be? I will be honest. I will co- still come out positive. All right. Last UA submitted, Your Honor, if I may, I apologize um, mm-hmm. for interrupting. It was on the 28th. Mm-hmm. And it was positive for marijuana. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is where we are. Mm-hmm. You are not allowed to use marijuana while you're on probation. It's just you can't do it. So you have a choice to make. What you're on probation for is a state jail felony. And let me see here. You're on deferred adjudication. So if you were revoked, you're looking at two years at the state jail facility, potentially. So the question for you is, do I want to potentially go to the state jail facility for two years over marijuana? Is marijuana that important to me? No, it's not. You're acting like it is. And so what I can tell you is I received this supplemental report and you know what three choices they gave me? They said, do you want to extend this case for six months or do you want to terminate this case? Which means you're done with probation. If you would have came into this court negative, I probably would have agreed that you could be off probation, but you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're, you've taken the classes, but you're not internalizing anything. It appears that your go-to is let me use marijuana. I had a good day. Let me use marijuana. I had a bad day. Let me use marijuana. I have friends in college and you know what they would tell me? They would say, oh, my gosh, the air is so crisp and cool. This would this reminds me of great days. I'm like, what great days? They're like sitting on the balcony at the apartment smoking marijuana. I never smoke marijuana, but they tell me that there are some good memories sometimes that people have associated with that. You are making bad memories by using marijuana mm-hmm. and you will continue to be extended or maybe a motion to revoke is going to be filed on you for using marijuana. When you're on probation, you're not allowed to use marijuana. You're not allowed to drink alcohol. Those are the rules. Those are the rules of Texas. You go in any courtroom in Texas and guess what? You can't use marijuana. You can't drink alcohol. Do you have children? Mm -hmm. How many? Two. What are their ages? 11 and 12. They know their mom uses marijuana because I guarantee you Your clothes smell like marijuana. If you've ever hugged your child, they're smelling marijuana. They don't want to deal with that. They don't want to have the mother who's the mother who's smoking marijuana. And if you have a boyfriend in your life who thinks it's great for you to be smoking marijuana, you're smoking marijuana with him, you need to cut him loose. You know why? He doesn't care for you because if he cared for you, he would tell you, baby, you can't be smoking marijuana because you could potentially go to the state jail facility for two years. And Vashon will tell you, I've sent women to prison, women to the state jail facility, men to prison, men to the state jail facility, because we can only do so much. And after that, we'll move on to the next case. Do you understand? So guess what's gonna happen today? Getting extended. Yes, you are. And you know what comes with that? More reporting more fees, all of that's going to pile up on you. And you know whose fault it is that you're getting extended? Fine. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the next time you think about smoking marijuana, you need to ask yourself, huh, do I want my probation extended? Huh, do I want to go to the state jail facility for up to two years? If your answer is yes, then you go ahead and you smoke your marijuana. And guess what's going to end up happening? Your children will not be with you potentially for two years. And in that two years time, anything can happen because I don't care what anybody says, good mothers, nobody loves a child like their mother, if it's a good mother. Eh, If it's a bad mother, then you can't say that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Be a good mother to your children. All right, we're gonna extend her. 
and I'm going to want her tested for levels. And if those levels do not start to drop, file a motion to revoke. And I will hear your case. Maybe you'll be brought over dressed in blue. Maybe you'll bond out, but I will hear your case if those levels grow up, go up. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So how often are you using marijuana? Is it every day? No. When? When I do have bad days. All right. And why are you having bad days? Who doesn't? Is it like life? life? Yes. It's hard being a mother, a daughter, a sister, a girlfriend, a cosmetologist, a felon. There's... It's a lot. I make sure everybody's good. Nobody makes sure I'm good. I oh. try to talk to my PO. My PO tells me she doesn't get paid enough to hear it. Like, Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not start with that. Cause let me just tell you something in this court. I do not allow people to speak badly of other people when they're not here. Okay. And I know that I've told you what I tell everybody else who comes in this courtroom. If you have an issue with probation and they're not addressing it, you can always come in because we're always here Monday through Friday. And you can always come in and address it uh, with Miss Abrams or come in and address with me. And if you feel like Miss Abrams is not hearing you, I will hear you. But I can tell you right now, she always hears people. Mm-hmm. So don't come in here saying probation is saying I don't get paid enough for this. And honestly, they don't get paid enough. But probation officers from the 187, they don't say that because they know that my key thing in court is everybody needs to be kind to each other. Even if you fake it, you better fake it with an Oscar winning performance that you care and that you're kind because everybody has bad days. Mm -hmm. So what are your issues? Why are you using? You say you have bad days, your boyfriend not listening to you. Well, if your boyfriend is not listening to you and he's a part of the problem, then you need to ask yourself, do I need this boyfriend in my life? Because if they're not bringing anything positive to the equation, you know what that means? They don't love you. You're just a stop along the way. Mm-hmm. I know you're probably not listening to me. No, I am. But that means that there are certain people that you need to cut out of your life. And sometimes the worst people in your life is family. And sometimes you got to cut family out of your life. People always say, you don't choose your family. You choose your friends. Well, yeah, you're choosing bad people. So, and then if there are family members who are not any good to you, once you evaluate it without the cloud of marijuana, then maybe they need to be cut loose. Mm -hmm. There's no harm in cutting family loose. You send them a card at birthdays, Christmas, and Thanksgiving, and the holidays, and call it a day. (coughs) So what else is going on? Is there some mental issue that we need to discuss? Mm -hmm. All right. You can't use marijuana. Um, What are you suggesting? Your Honor, um, we have listed um, the Relapse Prevention Stay and Quit Program. Okay. And um, I think that would would suffice. All right. We're going to extend six months. Amend conditions. To the relapse prevention program, staying quit program. Yes, Sean. I'm going to want her tested for levels. Yes, Sean. And is there anybody she can talk to when she has issues? Me. If something comes up in my life, I can always pick up the phone and call my mom and say, this is what's going on. I have the support system. Do you have anybody that supports you and looks after you? Is that a no? No. All right. So is there any? I'll talk to her. All right. So she's going to find out if there's some support group you can get involved with. There are always support groups out there, even if it's you in a book club or something. There's always people you can talk to because book club stuff sometimes spills over into life Mm -hmm. and you, you probably need to get involved in a group. It could be a travel group. It could be a book club group. And at some point in time, you're going to meet somebody and they're going to be your friend. And that friendship will go outside the book club. And it may be somebody you can talk to with different issues. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So do not come back here. 
testing positive for marijuana. It, I'm going to say this again. If you have an issue and you feel like your probation officer is not addressing it, you can always come to court, okay. except for Saturday and Sundays because we're not here. All right. So I, we're here today on discovery. So where are we on that? Yes, Your Honor. I, I spoke to Mr. Goldstein about it. Uh, Morning, Your Honor. Good morning. We, we have like another box and it's something that I think uh, we're going to have to meet up and actually look over mm -hmm. uh, because it, I have seven, I think six or seven boxes right now. There are literally thousands of letters that I think I have an obligation, due diligence to read. I'm about halfway through what we've got now. I think they have another box that they're going to give us. So we're asking for another discovery compliance. All right. Setting, Your Honor. All right. I will uh, give you all another discovery compliance. I know this is an old case, but this case did not originate in the 187 District Court. So when this case was on the docket in 2019, it was not here. So this case only came here in 2023, and that's May of 2023. So I don't know what the other court was doing, but I'm trying to make sure, uh, Mr. McIntyre, that your attorney has all the discovery and both your attorney and the state have had a chance to review that because whoever the prosecutors were on your case in the other court, this is a different prosecutor. So they have the boxes to go through. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I'm, how much time are you all asking for? I think. Ask for the moon and the moon and maybe you'll catch some stars. February, Is that the way it goes? Right. <laughs> there you I, I, by the way, I, I think the important places to look for important answers are the Bible and country and Western music. I'm better oh. at country and Western music. How oh, I February? love all music. <laughs> Me too, actually. Country um, and Western music, though, sometimes it's so sad. There is a song where the guy is singing, and I love the song, but it's so sad where he's driving. He says, that's my house. That's my dog. That's, that's my, my wife, but that's not my truck. I think you're talking about, I think, I think you're talking about Ray Foods. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he does so <laughs> So with regards to discovery, I will give you all 60 days. I normally don't do that. Is that enough time for everyone? I will hope so. Your Honor. We hope so. <laughs> I, that's speaking of country. What? No, <laughs> uh, I think that should be enough, Your Honor. But, but I, I'll be honest. Uh, this is a case I'm hoping we can work out. All right. uh, there's there are a lot of moving parts that are beyond anyone's control in this courtroom mm -hmm. uh, that need to be resolved. But I, I do think we can work something out. All so right. that's my hope. All right, Miss Ferguson, on this case, if I can have a 60 day reset for discovery. I think it's December 7th. Uh, that puts us at December 7th. It'll be February, but <laughs> December 7th will be fine. Well, you know what? We'll see where we are in December. Thank you. Okay. Because I've discovered attorneys, and I include myself in that, we, we tend to procrastinate because you always have something, I say, on the stove that's on the front, front burner. Then when you have something else, you say, I'm going to put that in the freezer because... <laughs> I have this that's bawling on the stove. So, Mr. McIntyre, we're going to come back on December 7th to see where we are on discovery. Yes, ma'am. All right. Do you have any questions about anything? No, ma'am. All right. Anything else that the court needs to cover? Can I bore the, man, not on behalf of the defense, may I bore the court with country and western? Most definitely. My son got in a fight in junior high school and, uh, the sheriff called me and asked me to come out and meet with them. And um, my son was upset about a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And um, that story about the Bible and country went, was something that I actually, the sheriff said, won't you go home and talk to your son? Mm -hmm. And my wife, of course, you know, you give him some advice. Mm -hmm. And he's 34 now. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, there are only two places to look. And so I took him up to my room and I put on a, I think it's Garth Brooks' song about he went to a high school football game and he saw his old girlfriend. Well, he was with his wife and he saw his old girlfriend. And he remembered 
dropping to his knees and praying to God that he could spend his the rest of his life with his old girlfriend. And it was a live performance and the audience went into the refrain, thank God for unanswered prayers. Oh yeah, I love that song. And me too. And I, I told my son, I said, look at your mama. Um, mm-hmm. I ended up with a significant upgrade. <laughs> if you just hang in there, it's gonna, okay. life is gonna do you all right. Oh, it's yeah. Gonna, yeah. Yes, most definitely. Thank you. All right. Thank, and I'm glad you said junior high. Now people are talking about middle school. That's how old I am. It was junior high. Well, I went to Twain, so I'm, you know, we were in between. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, Judge. Uh, do you need to speak with him anymore? Uh, no, um, we're going to, uh, John Hunter and I are going to go visit with him. We've already talked about that here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.